Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and we're gonna break down this Led Zeppelin song, but also huge shout out and thank you to Boss for sponsoring this video, but also making a killer sounding patch for the Boss Katana. You can get it totally for free. Check uh, out the free download in the link below in the description. And also while you're at it, check out that Boss Katana. Super fun, awesome amp. Let's break it down. All right, tune your guitar down a half step. All right, now I'll just pretend and refer to things as the E and the A, et cetera, as if it was in standard tuning, but it has been tuned down a half step each string. Okay, so D minor seven is the vibe. It's uh, electric piano, organ, et cetera. Not guitar, but then, as a guitar player, eventually the melody uh, you're going to need that chord. That's the first thing as a guitar player in this song that you need. And so it's like a B flat with this open high E in there. We're going to go eighth on the A, eighth on the D, seventh on the G, sixth on the B, but then the open E string. Da, 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 da. Now, there's a few different ways that you can play that second chord, but one of the chords in the mix is just a major chord. But the keyboard, and maybe another guitar, has this one in there. So the same type of chord as this. Uh, So you could play that same shape where it's 13, 13, 12, but then stretched back to the 10 on the B string. For this, if I was playing guitar like in a cover, I would just play the straight major here. The vocal is going. Guitar, you can just. And really, let's face it, this is what we need as the guitar player in this song is this main riff right here, makes the whole song. But so the first chord. And so that's like an A major shape, barred across the sixth fret, root on the A string. And that's vocal melody and keyboard, not guitar, but there it is. And then we go into the riff and the riff, uh, there's a little variation in there. And also he's playing like a G power chord, but you're really hearing more the A string of it, like. But it's still the. So there's little like nuances in there uh, that you can like really get in there if you wanna go crazy. But the main riff, it's based on a, a D5 which is 5th fret A and 7th fret D, but we're sliding into it. And so that final one, do, da, do, so. So next I'm going, thinking of it as the G power chord, which is third fret E string, but I'm sliding into it from the first fret. And sometimes as I slide that, you'll hear that it sounds more like just the A string, but you can also underneath hear that it's the power chord, like. You know, it's still there. So you could, it's not exactly right to go. But that, I mean, it still sounds like the song. So I'm getting into the weeds because of the YouTube commenters, I guess. Um, but also it's just stuff I've noticed. So. So it's like that. And so then I'm hammering three to five. 
on the E string, then pulling off on the A, but with picking each note, and then pulling off on the third fret D. So third fret A, third fret D. From there, you just need to know how to get, you know, spacey with D minor stuff because really it's a lot of uh, electric piano is important for the non-rock parts and then the guitar is the essential part for the rock riff. So have fun with that one. All right. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Uh, also, huge shout out and thank you to Boss once again for sponsoring this video and making that killer sounding patch. Don't forget about that free download in the description below. Thanks again for watching, supporting. Hope to see you again.